All right, how's it going everyone? This is Jose Trujillo once again coming to you from uh, my art studio with my trusted Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> Today I'm going to do something slightly different than what I usually do. Um, I'm going to paint I'm going to paint a, a cityscape actually. And I'm going to be doing it on this, uh, what is that, a 12, 12 by 16 inches canvas. This is a stretch canvas. Stretch like a drone. So this is what we're doing today, okay? Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All of you guys who have uh, uh, subscribed to the YouTube channel. Those of you who haven't subscribed. Thank you, thank you also for, for uh, stepping uh, uh, in, coming by to, 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 uh, to uh, watch this, this uh, to watch this uh, tutorials or demos or whatever they're called. I, I, I think they're just, they're just awesome videos. That's what we're gonna call them, awesome videos. This is uh, Mr. Magical doing some cool stuff okay and uh, yeah I'm, I'm pretty happy you guys thank you so much I'm, I'm actually very happy not just pretty happy it's it's very cool that I get to share my stuff you know some years ago I was like man if I could just share my stuff <laughs> if I could uh because I, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm a young guy, okay? I'm, 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 I'm in my early 30s. I'm a very young guy. But, uh, but I think that because I'm somewhat uh, maybe pre-internet or, you know, I, 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 saw, I saw the internet, you know, coming in, I guess. Uh, I was telling this, my, my, this to my wife the other day. I mean... I still thought like, oh, where can I get in a, in a, you know, when I was younger, where, where, where can I get, like, like, where could I go to, uh, you know, to, to, to showcase my work so that I can, so that I can, you know, paint live or something and be around, uh, other people who appreciate this kind of stuff, you know? <laughs> and, uh, it, it, it's so funny because, because... I kind of thought about that, right? But I never, you know, duh, right? I never thought like, oh, people are doing that already actually um, on YouTube. <laughs> but I didn't see YouTube as a, as a thing that, you know, pe people did this. Like, like I thought, you know, well, no, people go there to teach, you know, to teach how to paint. And I sort of had that idea that people went to YouTube to teach. You know, just bad, bad, bad <laughs> calibration, bad info on my end. Like, yeah, people come here to, you know, like 10 years later <laughs> after everyone's on YouTube, <laughs> you know, <laughs> people go to YouTube uh, to share their work and their process and, and also to teach. Yes, some stuff, you know, can be, can be for that also. But, uh, Anyways, <laughs> I used to think about stuff like that, like, oh man, you know, I, I could go to a, I don't know, somewhere around where there's a lot of people. <laughs> I used to think about stuff like that, where there's a lot of people and I can show my work. Uh, I don't know, maybe I was thinking about like a town square somewhere, I don't know, something <laughs> like, like they show in the movies, I don't know, maybe, maybe like a big city and... And, uh, you know, you, you see the artists out there, uh, kind of like how people get together to, to do uh, Tai Chi in the parks, you know, like, oh, I can do that. And, you know, I can share some of my process with other people. That, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> it completely went over my head that, yeah, people do that. It's actually called YouTube. So, guys, this is, uh, thank God that a few, just a few years later, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, let me try that thing. <laughs> But like everything else, when I do something, I go all the way. So, so uh, I'm all the way here, guys. You're gonna see lots of me. You're gonna see lots of me here. With different stuff, not just not just painting. I mean, 
I got a lot. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff to share. It's it's not just painting, believe me. I I've 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 ran I've run the I've ran the run. <laughs> Whatever the hell that means. But uh, I I have a lot of uh, neat stuff and, and, and cool uh, insider info, I guess you you would say that. Artist and or artistic anyways, you know. Um, that I can share that has definitely helped my career, my business, now my business, and I know that that it's going to be able to hopefully help others, right? Not just myself. And well that's part of it. That's part of it. I really dig the this artist used to say, you know, if you're if you're uh, if you learn something, don't 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 be hesitant to help other travelers. I like how he called them travelers. He called us travelers. I thought that, that was pretty cool. So see, simple, simple guys. <laughs> You complicate it, and uh, I don't know what to tell you. If you complicate things, see, this is my thing, and I know I chant this all the time, but you know, why not? It's it's my it's my channel, so <laughs> this is this is the thing, guys, uh, guys, and, guys and girls. Uh, life is already too damn complicated. It is to the to you know to the mind it is life life is not complicated to the mind it is and I know that I can't just you know some people have very very difficult challenges and and I I'm extremely respectful because we all have different challenges but the mind makes it even more complicated or it can you know than than it is um, so with that being said life. I believe that if approached from a more, um, you know, simple way, simple approach, not 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 too invested in the thought process. Life is, uh, my God, I mean, life is, is beautiful that way. Life is is is, is so much more rewarding. You know, and, and I know I'm, you know, it sounds like, well, dude, you're a painter. What the hell are you talking about? It's, it's just that I, I believe that, that this is one of the reasons why I started painting like this. And what I mean like this, because a lot of people ask me like, like, oh, you, I like your loose brush, you know. Really, I used to paint very tight, right? And, and not because I naturally painted like that. I naturally painted loose. But somewhere along the way, I started thinking, oh, man, I have to be rigid and tight and, you know, in order to do the proper painting. So I deviated from my natural uh, uh, inclination, I guess. I deviated from that. And, I, you know, I was kind of like looking, trying to find myself in the, in, in the expression of art, right? Like how... How do I express myself, right? But I, I came to terms that I paint like this in, in, in peaceful terms. I paint like this because this is how I see life. This is not how I see life all the time. This is how I wish to see life. I hope to see life. I look forward to see life. Life has to be a bit loose. And I don't mean in the way that, you know, uh, some people may take it, I don't know, like, undisciplined. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the mental aspect of it. You know, you could be very, very disciplined and still have a very loose approach. And one of the best ways to describe that for me is Forrest Gump. Man, I love that movie. And the, 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 I mean, everybody, you know, a lot of people love that movie, not <laughs> just everybody. But 
one of the reasons why I love that movie, why it, it, it moves me so much every time I see it, is because you're looking at a character that is selfless, you know? And there is no really other way to portray him, right? To portray this character other than, you know, he's got a bit of, uh, you know, he's a, he's a bit slow or, you know, whatever. I don't know. Uh, what the intention or of the of the director was you know necessary but was was trying to convey but you know it seems like he is he's a pure heart he's very selfless and, and that makes him a bit you know a bit uh, a bit slow because he doesn't have the ego we, we we see it as that but he doesn't he's not invested in his self image or not that much anyways and this, to me, this, this portrays a modern day. Uh, uh, I grew up Catholic, guys, so so uh, a lot of my references <laughs> were very uh, about saints and whatnot. But, but I, I I grew up with a lot of uh, um, theology and stuff around the house. My mom was very was very much very Catholic. Um, so he kind of reminded me of 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 what a saint, you know would look like if I ever met one, right? If, if I ever met a saint, he would look like Forrest Gump. Completely selfless. And, 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 um, and what I liked about that is because he, he was selfless, but he was not undisciplined. You know, and many times we, we, we tend to think, oh, I'm gonna be a free spirit, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I don't know, approach life like a free spirit, but extremely undisciplined, extremely uncoordinated. Because, because, because many times people say that and they, and they think that that means whatever, you know, whatever comes along. And I don't think that that's what it means. I think what it means is that full attention goes into whatever you do. I really believe this with all my heart. Full attention. But as you do it, you're not invested. It's, it's, it's just attention. That's all it is. It's full attention. And I think that, you know, Forrest Gump, the character of Forrest Gump, expresses that beautifully. Here's this, here's, here's this man who, who uh, I know, guys, I'm sorry, we're doing a movie. <laughs> now we're doing movies, not just paintings. But I love. I, I just saw a, a, a part of it, part of the ending the other day, and I saw how, you know, at the end when he sits there and he's and he's he says to the, to his kid, I'll, I'll be I'll be waiting here or I'll see you something like that, you know, and he just kind of looks down, as 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 if a robot will turn off his mind, you know, and it'll just be at peace, not invested, you know, he he's not. He's not, you know, just the perfect image of a, of a saint, in my opinion, right? Of someone who's, who's, who's fully in in life. It's, it's not half in. Someone who's fully in. And, and uh, when, when he puts his head down, those of you who've seen the movie, and then the feather, I think a little feather starts flying, it's, it's for me, it's sort of like a, a meaning of... of this is how light my mind is. My, you know, I think the director, in my opinion, the director was trying to do that. And if he wasn't trying to do that, he should have. <laughs> That's what it should have meant. <laughs> this, this man's mind is so light as this feather that is floating you know, in front of him. And it, it's just such a beautiful movie. I, I, I can't uh, think enough of it because it expresses fully how I feel about art. This, uh, what I aim at, at being as an artist, if, if I can think of anything, I wish I was the Forrest Gump of painting. I wish I was, I was um, completely selfless. I wish I did it with all attention, all heart, and no mind. And I think that I'm not, I'm not alone in this. I think many artists are. Are, are, would agree with me and one of them many of them that I've read about but one of them is 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 Monet 
that I remember reading that he said, I, you know, I, I wish I paint like as a bird sings. And that could easily be, I think, interpreted as, as oh, I wish I paint as beautiful as a bird sings. But I've been a painter for quite a while, guys, and I don't think that that's what he meant, even though maybe some of you, many of you might disagree. I don't know. This is my take on that. I think what he was saying is, I wish I could paint as natural and effortless as a bird sings. Because, because birds don't go training how to sing, right? It's effortless. It's a natural thing for them. It's, it's, it's nature. And I think that that's what he was trying to say. I wish I could paint as effortless as a bird sings. Picasso mentioned something similar, and uh, also, he said, if I could just remove my, my mind, my brain, my head, if I could, you know, he would be a better artist. And I think that, that um, many of us can see that, you know, many of us can see it. If, if I just would stop all judgment, that's why I believe that painting, I, I know I went into one of my spiritual rants here. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that all painting or any art, any discipline, when you know when we say, oh, the discipline of art, and we think it's deciphering some sort of stupid uh, um, tricks or ideas or, 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 or um, I don't know, someone's palette, you know, the, the discipline of Van Gogh, the discipline of, of, no, Van Gogh wouldn't probably, we wouldn't be talking about discipline. Maybe, uh, um, who, who, who would have a discipline? Uh, Rembrandt, maybe. The discipline of Rembrandt, or, you know, something. I don't know. And I feel like we think, oh, yeah, 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 the discipline of Rembrandt. But I, I personally believe that, that we have it all wrong. I, I think that there's no, there's no discipline there. I think that the discipline, if any, in art is the practice of observation. And, and I think it's, it's, a, it's non judgment. I really believe with all my heart, based on, on, on my thing. I didn't read this anywhere, guys. I'm not telling you, well, I read this, that, you know, such and such artist said this. No, this is me going out and painting. This is me living life while being an artist and having my, my own, my personal experiences as a painter, as a, as a human being, as a, as a husband, as a, as a son, as a human being. Art teaches me, if art teaches me one thing, is teach, is that it teaches me non-judgment. Art is here to teach me non-judgment. And I know I don't want to get all airy-fairy with you guys, but, but I do believe that that's what art does. Art is a very deep practice, not just painting, any, any art, any discipline in art. I believe that it's there to teach non-judgment, to teach a person to only look, to perceive, to not, um, to not um, use the the intellectual mind and the intellectual mind is that you know you use it of course you use it you, you it's not like you can get away from it nor, nor should you want to get away from it it's there for a reason but I believe that that being an artist is a very whether you know it or not whether you're an artist that knows it or not is a very 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 high spiritual practice and yeah, I think that if you feel pretty, if you feel nice, if you feel happy, if you feel peace, if you feel um, joy, maybe you have anxiety and you're like, oh, when I paint, I feel better. That certainly was my point, my, my, uh, my, point, <laughs> my, my experience. Uh, it's because, it's because you're, 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 you're probably praying and you don't even know. 
you're doing some sort of meditation, pray, and you might not be aware of it. Because art is a very, a very deep discipline of non, non-judgment. Really, that's what it is. It's, it's, it teaches you how to only see. And one of the reasons I like to paint the way I do is because um, I am, quote-unquote, forced to, to not be stuck on form so much. And I know that, you know, this is eh, to each their own, right? But I'm not very uh, forced to be stuck on, on, did I do the head of this person, right? You know, there is a level of that. There is a, there is a level of that. But I am not so stuck on it. And if I'm not so stuck on it, then I can express more. This is one of the reasons why I love the Impressionists, like, like Van Gogh, like, uh, well, he was a post-Impressionist for all. For those of you who's like, no, he was an Impressionist. <laughs> or like Cezanne. Because these were people that, that expressed that very well in their painting, in their, you know, in their artwork. And any artist, it doesn't have to be an impressionist. I simply picked that because I felt more, more inspired through their, the way they created artwork. It wasn't the artwork that inspired me, it was them. It was them that inspired me. The artwork, I could have picked something else. But, uh, you know, to, to, to kind of learn how to do my, you know, develop my thing or whatever. But it was really them that inspired me. Because they began to see the world through observation and not just mental um, baggage. You know? And I think, that's, I think that's very deep when it comes to artwork. Anyways, I completely went out <laughs> again uh, into one of my awesome um, stories here, guys. I hope uh, you guys don't get offended. And if you do, well, I'm sorry, this is my channel. <laughs> but yeah, it started off with... I don't know, I forgot. What's his name? Uh, Forrest Gump. I believe Ho Forrest Gump is my spiritual animal, as my wife would say. Forrest Gump is the person I hope that I could ever be. If Forrest Gump was a painter, I'd be like, Forrest Gump is my favorite painter. <laughs> All right, you guys, see, something slightly different, a little, uh, a little city, a little vibrant, colorist, what, what would uh, the art experts call it? Faubus, I think that would be like, it's a touch of faubism with uh, colorist brushwork. It's a painting, guys, it's a painting. And you see, it's not, it's not, it's not very uh, difficult at all, you know? Those of you who are, who are following along with me, I feel like Bob Ross. Those of you who are following along, I'm going to tell you what paints to... No, I'm just playing, guys. <laughs> Those of you who are following along with these paintings, uh, you guys can see that it's, it's, it's you know... Sometimes I go, I go slower, sometimes I go, I go faster. It's just depending on the... I really enjoy going fast on the painting. But uh, nevertheless, it doesn't mean I'm not, I'm not in the zone. It just means that... Today wasn't that fast. It was a bit slower, a bit calmer. There it is. The name is Jose Trujillo. I am the world's greatest artist. <laughs> I humbly say that. Thank you so much. Till next time.